Hello there and welcome to your very relaxing makeover experience. My name is Madison and I'm here to relax you, to pamper you, to give you some really nice personal attention. So I just want you to completely relax. I'm going to be cutting your hair for you and then I'm going to be applying your makeup as well, okay? I don't want to only make you look good. During this experience, I want to make you feel good. So we're going to start with your haircut, okay? So I've got my comb, my scissors, I have some dry shampoo, and I have my hairbrush. Okay, so I'm going to start with the dry shampoo and this is great uh, alternative to having to wash the hair during an experience like this uh, it gives me more time to focus on everything you know it's a great time saver and uh, it's actually really good like it leaves your hair feeling so soft and smooth looks really shiny and it has just the most delicious smell, like such a lovely smell. Uh, it's by Aussie, so it's a really, really good make. Tried some like, cheaper branded dry shampoo in the past and it's not been very good, but this one's really, really good. So I'm just going to spray some into your hair, okay? Okay. I'm just going to use my hands to very gently smooth it into the hair. Yeah, I said that the smell is just beautiful, isn't it? Simply, simply delicious. Okay, so I'm just going to comb. through your hair. Okay. So, I um, just want you to completely relax for me, okay? Some people, whilst having their hair cut, actually uh, 
I experience like um, a tingly sensation. Could be um, the sounds of the scissors. Or it could be just the feeling of you know getting personal attention. Doesn't matter what causes it. It's good that you get the tingles <laughs> for whatever reason. What would you like me to do with your fringe? Do you want it quite um, choppy and funky, like a bit kind of jagged, or do you want it like completely straight like a ruler? Really straight, like a blunt, blunt fringe. Okay. Now try not to raise your eyebrows at all like that because otherwise um, the hair will go shorter so I need that fringe at a nice length just kind of um, sitting on your eyebrows to keep nice and still Amazing, really, really nice. Just needed that little, little trim and tidy up. Amazing. So now it's time for the makeup. Um, I'm such a girly girl. I I just love all things makeup related. You do as well, yeah. <laughs> just, I just I don't know. I just find makeup uh, so exciting. <laughs> 
We'll start with some foundation. Look at my little sponge here. And just blend that in. You've got a really, really nice skin, by the way. No, you have, honestly, it's really nice. Unlike me, who has got the odd spot. Or five. <laughs> Just blend that in your forehead. Your eyes. Your nose. Just above your lips. These um, are really good because they just really kind of blend it. I used to uh, use my hands or a brush to apply foundation, but I much prefer these like blending sponges, they're really really good. I've got a really um, nice pink. Blush. Um, this is from the body shop. Oh, if you could um just suck in your cheeks like this. <laughs> Thank you. Just helps me define those cheekbones, you know. Now this pink looks really, really good on you. I'm just going to put some on your nose as well, just a little, little dab. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to work on your eyes now. Um, this is quite new actually, I've been using this recently. Um, it's really good, it's called Scandal Eyes. Um, it's by Rimmel. And it's a, uh, a liquid eyeliner, but instead of those like really annoying little pots, um, this is a really easy to use pen. So it's literally like a biro, like you literally like feel like you're drawing <laughs> on your eyes. But um, it's really good, and it just gets a really nice kind of defined shape instead of being all kind of crooked. So, you want to close your eyes, just put some liquid eyeliner on. So this is um, only for the tops, not just, just the lids, um, you wouldn't use it sort of under, underneath, it literally just goes on, on the top. Uh, and for 
under here I'm going to use just the uh, this is number seven stay perfect and this is just like a normal uh, black coal eyeliner pencil okay so I'm just going to use that underneath okay get really still for me that's good So um, I have some selections for uh, different eyeshadow colours. Uh, I've got this really nice Technic set, um, which has lots of different colours in it, like a theme. choose you know what you're uh, drawn to I really really want to do those brights on you because as you can probably see uh, from my hair I love having like bright colours and yeah <laughs> but it is of course up to you so we have the uh, brights Hint, hint. Um, we've also got the nudes and smoky, I like the smoky ones as well, and sultry. So, um, I don't know what you're, you're thinking, but I'm hoping the brights. Yeah. <laughs> also. So they are your, uh, your bright selection. So we've got purple, pink, yellow, um, a lighter pink, green, and like a turquoise blue. Yeah, that'd uh, match my hair. Actually, no, pink and blue would match my hair. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know. Which one do you prefer? Pink? Okay. That'll match your uh, rosy cheeks. Okay. Right, so I'm gonna. Oh, there's two pinks. Did you want the darker pink or the lighter pink? That one, yeah. Okay. Close your eyes. see the liquid eyeliner at the, the front I've just put the pink kind of over it but because obviously it's black um, it's kind of you know just shining through um, just looking for my mascara I have so much makeup I can never find anything um, but yeah so you've just got that nice bit of black there 
um, shining through in the pink over the top of it which is really nice um, sometimes I do put just like either plain pink with no liquid eyeliner or other times like I will just use that kind of black eyeliner with no other colour which can look quite nice as well um, it's a very simple look but it's quite effective but I like the blend um, of the pink and black so I'm gonna use the mascara now on you this is Max Factor um, it's called Velvet Volume it's really really good it gives a real kind of full slash effect just get all the little excess bits off okay you ready blink 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 as well your eyes just like wow 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 um, so I'm gonna apply uh, some lipstick in a moment but I'm just gonna put some lip balm on you first this is uh, sweet mint EOS I love this stuff so much It's a really nice pink, like a bubblegum pink. Okay, so. this little eyeshadow brush I'm just going to brush the little bits just around that little edge of the eye there so this brings that colour out a bit more there you go look at that wow <laughs> you look so good seriously you look like a hundred out of a hundred um, so yeah I hope you had uh, a very relaxing experience yeah excellent um, so all that's left to be done is take you 
over to the mirror and you can have a look at your makeover results um, and then yeah if you want we can take some pictures of you looking all gorgeous <laughs> yeah sounds good okay <laughs>